To correct a low reservoir condition, a new reservoir needs to be attached and the reservoir volume needs to be reset to match the volume in the new reservoir. Following are instructions for when the CAD medication cassette reservoir or the CAD administration set needs to be changed, as well as instructions for when only the IV bag on the CAD administration to correct a low reservoir condition, a new reservoir needs to be attached and the reservoir volume needs to be reset to match the volume in the new reservoir. Following are instructions for when the CAD medication cassette reservoir or the CAD administration set needs to be changed, as well as instructions for when only the IV bag on the CAD administration set is changed without changing the administration set. Stop the pump by pressing the Stop Start key. When Stop Pump appears, press Yes. A message appears indicating the pump is stopping. If a tubing change needs to be done, remove the CAD medication cassette reservoir or the CAD administration set. This will require a pump key to unlock the latch handle. Attach a new CAD medication cassette reservoir or new CAD administration set with a new IV bag to the pump. Use the pump key to re-lock the latch handle. The screen will display prompts to perform various tasks. First it prompts to reset the reservoir volume. In this case, the reservoir has been changed, so press Yes. Confirm the reservoir volume reset by pressing Yes. If the pump prompts for a security code, enter the security code as outlined in the overview module of this training. Scroll to the desired value or press Select to reset the reservoir volume to the value displayed in the blue font. Press Save. Next, the pump will prompt Prime tubing. Press Yes since new tubing is being used that needs to be primed. Follow the steps to prime as outlined in the Prime tubing section of this module. The pump will prompt for a review of the delivery parameters since the reservoir volume value was reset. Press Review. If prompted, enter the security code as outlined in the overview module of this training. Review the delivery parameters and accept the values by highlighting each one and pressing Accept Value. When the review is complete, press Next. Review any clinical advisory note that may be entered for the selected protocol. Acknowledge by pressing OK. Finally, a prompt to start the pump will appear. Press Yes or No as appropriate. If you only need to change the IV bag on the CAD administration set and not the administration set itself, follow these steps. Stop the pump by pressing the Stop Start key. When Stop Pump appears, press Yes. A message appears indicating the pump is stopping. Remove the old IV bag from the tubing and attach a new IV bag. On the home screen, scroll to highlight Reservoir Volume. Press Select. Enter the security code as outlined in the overview module of this training. Scroll to the desired value or press Select to reset the reservoir volume to the value displayed in blue font. Press Save. Press the Stop Start key to restart the pump. The pump will prompt for a review of the delivery parameters since the reservoir volume value was reset. Press Review. Review the delivery parameters and accept the values by highlighting each one and pressing Accept Value. When the review is complete, press Next. Review any clinical advisory note that may be entered for the selected protocol. Acknowledge by pressing OK. Finally, a prompt to start the pump will appear. 
press yes or no as appropriate. If it is necessary to prime the tubing after a bag change and before restarting the pump, follow these steps. From the home screen press Tasks. Scroll down to highlight Prime Tubing. Press Select. Prime Tubing as outlined earlier in this operations module of the training. Note, if keypad is locked, enter security code when prompted. Press the Stop Start key to restart the pump. 